During the years it was in operation, Terrible Tilly was hit with severe storms that damaged it. Multiple times the tower was flooded when the lantern room windows were shattered when hit by large debris. In 1912, during a storm, a hundred tons of rock broke off and fell into the sea on the western side. After that, the windows on the western side were taken out, cemented over, and then replaced with portholes. On October 21, 1934, a storm with winds reaching 109 miles per hour damaged the landing platform and the lantern room. It leveled some of the lighthouse's railing and completely damaged the Fresnel lens and the phone lines. After the storm, the lighthouse keepers couldn't communicate with the outside world until keeper Henry Jenkins made an improvised radio using a damaged foghorn and a telephone to alert the outside. The Fresnel lens was replaced with an arrow beacon and metal mesh was wrapped around the lantern room. In all, $12,000 worth of repairs were finished by February of the next year. In the 1950s, the lighthouse was shut down. But by this time, people had heard a many a ghost tale told by the lighthouse keepers. One such keeper named Gibbs wrote in his book that one night he heard a whispering moan like someone who was in pain. He at first thought it was one of his fellow keepers, but he realized they were all asleep. Gibbs then decided he wanted to explore to find out where or what the moan was. He didn't find anything out of the ordinary until he noticed a door he had never seen before. He opened the door to discover a library. He went inside, grabbed a book, and sat down to read. The book he chose happened to be about a lighthouse keeper in the Caribbean who had experienced strange encounters eerily similar to his own. Other keepers have told of hearing the same moan, except they heard it when they climbed up the stairs to the tower. Terrible Tilly is said to be haunted by the spirits of two keepers. One is said to be friendly and haunts the lighthouse because he never wanted to leave. The other keeper's spirit is said to be malevolent and he attacks his replacements. One of the succeeding keepers reported that he was chased up the stairs by this spirit, but he turned around and pushed the spirit down the stairs. After this experience, the living keeper was said to have been taken away in a straitjacket. He supposedly now also haunts Terrible Tilly. Terrible Tilly was shut down on September 1st, 1957 because it had become the most expensive lighthouse to operate. Two years later, it was bought by some investors from Nevada. But it sat unused for 23 years until the investors sold it to some realtors in 1980. The new owners turned the lighthouse into a columbarium in June of that year called the Eternity at Sea Columbarium. A columbarium is a room or a building where urns are stored for the public to visit. It can also be nesting boxes for pigeons. The lighthouse held a total of 30 urns before its license was revoked in 1999 by the Oregon Mortuary and Cemetery Board. The board then rejected the reapplication in 2005. Terrible Tilly is on the National Register of Historical Places since 1981, and it is also a part of the Oregon Islands National Wildlife Refuge. The only way the owners can get to Terrible Tilly is by helicopter except during seabird nesting season. I couldn't find out if visitors could go to Terrible Tilly, I imagine not, but if you could, would you? Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and if you already have, thank you very much!